So we're reading out of Exodus chapter 10, in verses 12. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts, that they may come upon the land of Egypt and eat every herb of the land, even all that the hail left or hath left. And Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. And the locusts went up over the land of Egypt and rested in all the coasts of Egypt. Very grievous were they. Before them there were no such locusts as they, neither after them shall be such. For they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened. And they did eat every herb of the land and all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left. And there remained not any green thing in the trees or in the herbs of the field through all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste, and he said, I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Now therefore forgive, I pray thee, my sin only this once, and entreat the Lord your God that he may take away from me this death only. And he went out from Pharaoh and entreated the Lord. And the Lord turned a mighty strong west wind, which took away the locusts and cast them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the coasts of Egypt. Okay, so here we seeing specifically one of the examples of the locust plague. So what can we note? So originally, they came from Yemen and moved through the Red Sea to the Horn of Africa. And the countries affected were Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda. It has been recorded as the worst in 70 years in Kenya. Remember, 70 years being a very significant number. Um, 25 years being the worst in Somalia and Ethiopia. Horns were used in days of old to sound alarms, warnings, etc. And they were also used to anoint with oil the chosen ones of, or the servants of God. So very significant. Who these affected companies actually export to? Kenya exports to Uganda, USA, Tanzania, Rwanda, UK, Germany, Netherlands and France in Europe. Somalia exports to UAE, Yemen and Oman. Ethiopia exports to Germany, Saudi Arabia, USA, Belgium, Sudan and Italy. Uganda exports to Sudan, Kenya, DRC. Democratic Republic of Congo, Netherlands, Germany, South Africa, and UAE. The common threads you will see that are affected, their food sources being significantly affected here, is the United States of America, the United Arab Emirates, Germany, and Netherlands. Um, what also is a huge concern for me is that places like Somalia and Ethiopia are one of the most uh, starved countries where food is really something that most people don't have and you'll notice the, the, they show these dramatic footage of children who are starved with these large bellies but yet here they have enough to export to all of these countries it's shocking but let's just take a look at the article that's now the latest because that which we're speaking about occurred in January so this is now 10th of March. It's moved into East Africa, or from East Africa to South Asia. Worst infestation for a quarter of a century, threatening crops and livelihood. So once again, they're talking about Kenya as it's not gone away. Main threats currently from East Africa, it's also in Yemen again, as well as the Gulf of States, Iran, Pakistan, and India. Remember when it came down from Yemen, it moved through the Red Sea. Once again, the Red Sea is where Moses um, killed all the Egyptians. He split the Red Sea. The Israelites went through, and when the Egyptians followed them, he made the waters come together again, which drowned them in that sea. Uh, so now it's in the Gulf states, Iran, Pakistan, and India. We're talking about the locusts again. And if we look here, the most recent occurrences is the DRC. Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, and along the coast of Iran. The upper photo is uh, in Uganda. And uh, the last attempt is China wants to send in help by means of deploying 100,000 ducks to eat these locusts. So 
We'll see how effective that is. You're the word of the Lord.